Hello, welcome to another video. So, today I thought I would share with you a story that I wrote. Um, I did it for my writing class in university and I got a good mark on it. I got 90. <laughs> so I'm happy. But, um, I thought since I wrote something I should share with you guys because it would make for just a good, good old whisper video. So, I'm going to read this strange story. Worse than my typical gardening miss. 
entered scattered living room before landing on Babette. She was lying motionless on the floor like a vegetable. I realized what she was doing inside with relief. Clever carrot. You grew this, Tara? Mom asked, lifting Babette into her arms. I've never seen a carrot this big in my life. You have to enter this in the harvest fair. You could win a world record. I looked at Babette. Mom was right. I could afford months of rent with this cash prize. Yeah, that would be fun. I'll definitely enter, I said. The harvest fair was brimming with people, and the weigh-in was taking place soon. Babette poked her head out of the basket I was carrying her in. These humans aren't going to eat me, are they? She asked. They would never, I replied. You are far too impressive to eat. You'll be cherished. Cherished, Babette parroted. She dipped her head back under the cloth to hide her sheepish grin. It was easy to tell that we would be the winners. People fawned over Babette. They'd never seen such a magnificent carrot. Beautiful crop. A phenomenal specimen. So cute, it's shaped like a baby. During the showcase, Babette stayed still as stone, but I could tell by the flush on her face that she was enjoying the attention. My heart swelled. Babette got to feel valued and praised, something she'd likely never gotten on her home planet, where they simply viewed her as a unit for missions. After grueling evaluations, we won best in show and smashed the world record. Babette got a big blue ribbon strung around her neck, and I felt like a celebrity as I posed with her in front of flashing cameras. I'd finally accomplished something with my life. I sat on the balcony, counting my prize money and enjoying the gentle autumn breeze. Babette had been scowling at me for a while, and her leaves looked wilted. What's your deal? I asked, continuing to count. She hesitated. It wasn't for fun, she finally said. You used me. You just wanted currency. I was speechless for a moment. I didn't expect her to care about something like that, but she wasn't entirely wrong. Babette scoffed. Whatever. I was using you for shelter anyway. I don't need you anymore. I can handle this dumb planet just fine on my own. Babs, wait, I... Before I could explain, she hopped down from the balcony and headed for the forest. The first thoughts to pop into my head were... How many ways can a tiny vegetable alien be killed while alone in a forest? And I don't want that. I realized I actually cared about Babette. <laughs> when I found her, she was between the claws of a horrific beast. I've never seen anything like it. Don't show fear. It can probably smell it. My knees were shaking. It was human-like, but easily twenty feet tall with disturbingly long limbs. It had massive claws and teeth, their foliage growing from its leathery orange skin. I was frozen in place as I realized what this was. This is what Babette would have grown into. I looked at her small body, pinned beneath the beast. She squirmed, and I felt relief wash over me. She was alive, thank goodness. Had locked eyes with me. When it spoke, the deep voice boomed through the forest. Go home, human. Leave as if you have seen nothing. And 
worthless.